Hello, thanks for joining us. My name is Howie Heckman with PTS. Today I'm going to walk you guys through setting up a Blue Cat's uh, DLE gateway with our Clearstream RFID software. Um, so I'll actually point the gateway to the Clearstream application and start uh, streaming beacons, um, both iBeacons and Eddystone beacons to a uh, back-end database. So with that, let's uh, get it started here. So on the screen here, you can see Clearstream, uh, which is pre-installed. Um, you can get this from our clearstreamrfid.com website. It's available as a free trial. So I would encourage anybody looking to set up what I um, configure today uh, by going to our website and downloading the free trial. Uh, you can just run through a simple installation process and you'll be presented with this screen. Uh, the next thing you'll need is actual Blue Cat's uh, BLE gateway. So I have one connected on my network here. Uh, and it's assigned an IP address via DHCP. So it's on our network, ready to go. I just need to go ahead and configure it to point to uh, Clearstream. So now my um, PC that I have Clearstream installed, uh, the IP address is uh, 192.168.4.20. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by pointing that gateway to my PC. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to Chrome or a web browser. Uh, I've navigated to the, um, BLE gateway, this happens to be 4.121. So if you're looking to uh, configure this yourself, you just go ahead and put the IP address of your gateway inside of your web browser, and it'll bring you to this screen here. Um, now by default, uh, the username is root. The password on some of these devices will be set um, to, I believe, BlueCat. In my case here, it's just a blank password. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that and hit login. Um, this will bring us into the configuration of the BlueCat gateway. Now, as you can see, this is a similar setup to a Wi-Fi gateway or something like that that you might have at your own home. Um, you're just using the web browser to log into that device and then go ahead and change some configurations on it. Now, there's really only two things I need to do with this. First, I need to point this gateway to my PC, that 4.20 IP address. The other thing I need to do is just grab the MAC address of this device so that I can configure it in Clearstream, our uh, streaming software. So first thing I'll do is actually, so it, Go ahead and set this up. I'm going to hover over Blue Cat and go down to forwarding. Um, I have no endpoints currently configured, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new endpoint. Uh, I'll give it a name of Clearstream. Uh, I'm going to enable it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the uh, event type to a BLE scan event. My protocol here, I don't want the MQTT protocol. I'm going to switch it to UDP um, and then set the, uh, the host. I have it here saved, but you go ahead and enter the IP address of wherever you have Clearstream installed. So I'm going to do uh, 192.168.4.20. Um, the port here, I'm going to have to go ahead and change. Now, um, the default of this will be different based on some um, installations of this gateway, but I'm going to go ahead and set this to 9942, uh, which is what I'm going to use inside of Clearstream in order to just start collecting this beacon data that's being sent to it from uh, the from the gateway. So I think that's all I need set up. I've been named Clearstream just so I know what it is. It's enabled. I'm sending the scan event protocol UDP 4.20 is my endpoint uh, and port 9942. This could really be whatever you want. I'll show you in a second where that's set. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and hit save and apply. All right, so this gateway is now saving its configuration and it should be sending gate uh, beacons that are out in the field to this host of 192.168.4.20. Now the next thing, and the only other thing I need to do inside of this interface here is go ahead and grab the MAC address. I'm gonna go up to network, hover over interfaces. In the LAN section here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this MAC address. Make sure I get that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just move this browser out of the way uh, in case I need it later, but that should be all the configuration I need on the Blue Cat side. So now back to Clearstream. This here is the configuration for Clearstream, and this is the mapping portion where I'm setting up a device, a BLE or RFID device to a destination. So that's kind of how this configuration works. You have a source of data, which could be an RFID reader, a Bluetooth beacon um, gateway, uh, and then the destination could be anything from an ODBC database to a SQL Server, Excel, text files, or a template for like web services um, type endpoints, or even email. You can send email of your beacons or RFID tags being collected. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by setting up my device. So I'm gonna click the device button here. I'm gonna hit add, go down and select BLE beacon. Um, the first thing I need to do, and you 
see it's flashing here, is select the gateway type. For the demo today, I'm going to go ahead and select Blue Cat. You can see the listening port in Clearstream defaults to 9942, like we said on the other uh, in the configuration for the gateway. But this you could change to whatever you need. If you needed a different port here, you would change this here as well as on the um, the endpoint configuration in the uh, web browser. Finally, the only other uh, configuration I need to do in order to really get this up and running is paste the MAC address in this device ID field within Clearstream. Um, and then the rest of this I can kind of leave as default. Um, although one thing I add are beacon reads um, through this uh, using this checkbox here. So we limit the amount of data being sent over to um, the destination. So I'm going to just going to go ahead and leave that or turn that on and hit close this dialog. So now you can see I have uh, Clearstream device one as set up as my source of data. The destination over here is going to be uh, selected from this type dropdown. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select ODBC. I'm going to select the Clearstream RFID sample. Uh, and I'll select the BLE beacon list as my destination for where the beacons are going as they're being scanned. Um, now this database, just so you know, is pre-installed with the application. So if you install Clearstream, you will see under the ODBC type, this Clearstream RFID sample, and you will have a BLE beacon list table within that database. So this is just a pre-configured uh, uh, table that you can use for testing, or even um, if you wanted to use in production, that'd be fine as well. Now, just to show you where that database is located, if I go to my uh, C drive, it's installed, um, if it's in the default location, to C colon program files, TTS, Clearstream RFID 6, and data. And you'll see that Microsoft Access database located here. And if I were to open this up, you will see the Clearstream database that uh, is installed with Clearstream. And here you can see the BLE beacon list table and right now it has no data in it. So it's empty of data. This is what you would see after a fresh installation. But now I want to go ahead and populate this with beacons that are being scanned by the Blue Cats gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back out of the way and finish off my configuration. I have my gateway hooked up as the source. The destination side, I have the Clearstream uh, BLE beacon list sample table. And then down below, below you can see the mappings from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So these Fields on the left-hand side correspond to the fields of information that are collected by Clearstream from the gateway. Uh, so MAC address, distance, date, uh, antenna, and so on. And they marry up to the same fields that we have available in the database. And these are some things that Clearstream parses out for you. So things like iBeacons, they support the UUID major and minor number. So those will be parsed automatically from a beacon that's being scanned. And then for Eddystone, depending on the frame type of the beacons you're using, you have namespace, instance, voltage, temperature, and URL. So depending on the beacon types you're using, Clearstream will parse the data out automatically for you. And, uh, for clear, and then when it receives that beacon, it'll post it over to this destination uh, side. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Now, this is a basic uh, installation. There are other options here for controlling the beacons and when they're sent to your database. But just to show you it collecting this beacon information, I'm going to go over to my start stop form, uh, hit start. And now this will power up the gateway so that it will start begin accepting tags. And then as long as I have some beacons within the area, those beacons are going to be reported over to the destination as they're being scanned. So there you can see some uh, beacons are popping up and you can see tags sent to the destination or beacons in this case. I have four that are sent over to the uh, destination already. And those are being collected. And if I jump over to my uh, beacon list database and hit refresh, you can see here's the beacon information that it was collecting. So really easily, I set up a streaming process in Clearstream that sends the beacons that are being collected by our Blue Cats gateway and hooked it up to this, in this case, sample Microsoft Access database. And again, you can see the information, the fields of information that are collected here. So for instance, uh, I have a beacon here with this MAC address. It's uh, 0.2 meters away from the gateway. Uh, this is the payload of data that it sent over, the raw data. The antenna that collected it, there's generally only one on each one of these gateways. Uh, the signal strength that was received, a date time stamp of when it was received, uh, as well as that, that uh, be beacon name that we can change if we'd like. Um, as well as then if you look over to the right-hand side, some additional values that are parsed out from the gateway, uh, from the beacons. 
So here, these are two iBeacons. So I parsed out, or I'm able to see the UUID values as well as the major and minor numbers that are um, written to that beacon. And then if you look down below, I have two Eddystone beacons. Uh, the first one here is a, a UID beacon that has a namespace and an instance, which is similar to the major and minor number in um, for the uh, iBeacons. And then down below, this fourth beacon that I uh, read is actually a URL frame type for Eddystone, and you can see it has a URL that's being posted to the URL frame or field. So ClearStream parsed this data out automatically from the payload that's coming over in this data value uh, from the beacons as they're pinging those identifiers out. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Really quick, easy way to set up a Blue Cats Gateway uh, BLE uh, beacon scanner to ClearStream so that ClearStream can stream the, the uh, beacons into your selected destination, uh, you know, any backend system that you choose. So I hope that was helpful, helpful for everyone. Um, we hope these videos kind of can get you started with ClearStream pretty quickly. Uh, so check out our YouTube channel for any additional uh, beacon or RFID tutorials for ClearStream RFID. And uh, we thank you for joining us today. So uh, thanks for joining and bye-bye.